Our future will be reshaped by technology, from the Industrial Revolution to space exploration. Some exciting new technologies are also reportedly knocking on the door. According to recent estimates, these technologies are anticipated to make a considerable impact by 2030, and you'll probably see some genuinely amazing inventions before then. There have been significant technological innovations over the past 5 to 10 years. There is no doubt that technology has influenced every aspect of human existence and business. Technology has the ability or capability to transform everything, revolutionizing the future of the planet. This includes the development of artificial intelligence, AI, the Internet of Things, IoT, and the 5G network. So what significant advancements are we expected to see over the next few decades? Stick with me to the end to find out. In the coming decade, 8K virtual reality headsets will become mainstream. The majority of VR screens will have 8K resolution by 2030, which has four times as many pixels as 4K panels. With these devices, there will be no visible pixelation when you see character models and objects up close, producing astonishing detail and realism. Because of other upgrades, VR games will have near-zero latency and a wide field of view. To increase comfort and convenience, some haptic suits will also develop into electrode meshes. Human-like AI will become a reality. By 2030, there will be exponential advancements in computer processing power, voice recognition, image recognition, deep learning, and other software algorithms. Similar to this, advances in natural language processing technology like GPT-3 are continually being developed. Eventually, artificial intelligence will probably be able to pass the Turing test. This is a test where a human engages in a conversation with a machine and probes it with numerous questions. And if the machine succeeds in convincing the subject that it is a person, it has passed the test. This could swiftly result in virtual assistants created by AI that can hold complex interactions with us. In the future, characters from video games and virtual worlds might also use this technology. The first quantum computers with 1 million qubits will emerge. IBM and Google will each be able to produce quantum computers with a million qubits by 2030. This development will fundamentally alter how optimization issues are handled, how machine learning algorithms are trained and used, and how we comprehend natural phenomena at the subatomic scale. It will transform industries like cybersecurity, financial modeling, medical development, and artificial intelligence. Plus, fully operational quantum computers might be made accessible to the general public as physical devices and cloud-based systems as early as 2035. The use of 3D printed human organs will begin. Building living and biological systems will be possible with 3D printing by 2030. With microscopic accuracy, layers upon layers of cells could be extruded from printer heads and deposited precisely where they were needed. They'll start by building easy-to-understand parts like tissues and blood arteries. Next, they will begin to print relatively simple organs. They might eventually print most of the 78 organs in the human body in the coming decades. Artificial brain implants will restore lost memories. By 2030, it may be feasible to heal the damage caused by Alzheimer's, strokes, or injuries by replicating small portions of the brain with artificial brain implants. This also entails retrieving forgotten memories. This is so because these gadgets can imitate the electrochemical signals from parts of the brain like the hippocampus, which is crucial in transferring information from short-term to long-term memory. The system would function by essentially replacing injured brain tissue, predicting what those regions should do at any given time, and then enabling the transfer of brain signals between regions that were previously separated. Artificial brain implants will get better and better at simulating complicated brain activities during the 2030s and 2040s. Brain interface devices will become mainstream. In most VR headsets by 2030, a brain-computer interface option could be available to record users' electrical impulses, allowing users to control actions just by thinking about them. Headbands and wristbands with non-invasive sensors could become the preferred choices for mainstream brain-computer interface use. Brain-computer interfaces may, at this point, only be useful in a restricted number of situations with their immersive effects being constrained. Nevertheless, they will offer progressively more lifelike means of engaging with digital beings, things, and settings in the metaverse. 
the first version of the quantum internet could emerge. Instead of using radio waves to transmit information, a quantum internet would employ quantum signals. The main purpose of this kind of internet would be to transfer data that cannot be hacked or intercepted by normal means. It may be able to transmit or access quantum encrypted data via a personal computer in 2030 thanks to a cloud-based quantum computer. A prototype of the National Quantum Internet may be available by 2030, according to the U.S. Department of Energy's already released blueprint. Smart grid technology will become widespread in the developed countries. Integrated smart grids will be widely used in developed countries by 2030. Smart grids will allow energy to be transmitted in both directions through power lines. This implies that to prevent energy waste, families and businesses can supply extra electricity to the system. Additionally, smart networks will be able to accommodate the erratic power output generated by solar and wind energy sources, which would increase the viability of large-scale renewables. Finally, if a transmission line failure results in a blackout, sensors on a smart grid will immediately pinpoint the damaged location while rerouting electricity to the affected area. This will lead to fewer noticeable blackouts in the future. Smart grids will be implemented at much greater scales in the following decades. Entire regions and countries will begin merging their grids. A billion human genomes will be sequenced. Over a billion human genomes will have been sequenced globally by the time DNA testing reaches its cheapest, quickest, and most accessible state by 2025. That represents around one-eighth of the entire world's population. The amount of genetic data will surpass an exabyte which is more than the total number of video files on YouTube's website. It will be easier than ever to use artificial intelligence to uncover a variety of issues connected to particular genes, including cognitive disorders, due to this enormous amount of data. Given that genetic variations account for 75% of an individual's IQ, finding and using these genes may be crucial in the development of extremely intelligent people in the coming years. Human brain simulations could become possible. Accurate models of every component of the human brain and its 100 billion neurons may be created by 2025, thanks to the exponential increase of data and information technologies. Although it may be able to scan and map a complete human brain down to the level of individual neurons, it will take significantly more time to analyze the vast amounts of data it contains and use that to completely understand how the brains work. Nevertheless, this significant achievement will inspire creative solutions for the majority of brain-related illnesses. It might even be useful for non-biological brain augmentation, controlling virtual things via brain-computer interfaces, and transferring memories between humans and robots. Several extinct species could be resurrected. Several extinct species, including the woolly mammoth, the dodo bird, and the saber-toothed tiger, may be reborn by 2030. Well, there are three ways to bring back extinct animals and plants. The first is by removing cells from preserved tissue to produce an exact contemporary replica. Or selective breeding can be used to impart traits from an extinct relative species to a closely related present species. Also, a present species' DNA can be modified through genetic engineering so that it closely resembles the DNA of an extinct species. In a few decades, the reintroduction of extinct species may play a crucial role in the recovery of the Earth's biosphere. In the coming decades, Neanderthals and numerous dinosaur species may even be recreated for various purposes. To predict which innovative technology would dominate the market by 2030 would be too early, because all these technologies are in the initial phase. Although most companies have adopted artificial intelligence, still a lot of improvement is required in that field. Foldable electronics would go mainstream. A new generation of ultra-thin electronics may be created through printed electronics by the middle of the 2020s. By 2030, their fabrication prices will be so low that they will be utilized in a wide range of regular consumer and business applications. It is now possible to fold, store, and carry many previously large or heavy devices as simple as paper. This also includes mobile TV displays that can roll up or hang like posters. Likewise, foldable e-books and smartphones will become common. Open source, 3D printed clothes will be at near zero cost. Clothing may be created with 3D printing for only a few cents, and the technology will eventually become a staple in home appliances. 
3D printing will advance more than 30 times quicker than it did in 2014 by as early as 2024. There will be millions of open source designs that can be downloaded. As a result, there might be less need for sweatshops in developing nations, which would also eliminate low-paying manufacturing jobs. All right, guys, that wraps up our video for today. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video interesting and hit the subscribe button for more. Bye for now.